morning, everybody. Welcome to our, our beautiful patio in our tropical paradise, Brad and Paul, here for season number two, um, which of course now we've evolved into life under the palms. Thank you. Well, this weekend we broke out of our mold a little bit and we went and we visited a very dear friend of ours who moved from here, from here, up to St. Petersburg. The Tampa St. Pete, yeah. So on the way to St. Petersburg, we stopped at a place neither one of us had ever been, Never. but the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens in Sarasota. A gorgeous, very, very compact uh, facility. She wanted to, uh, to live on the bay and it was in a very beautiful location in Sarasota area. And I guess they said that house was occupied for 50 years? But she, yeah, she lived there for 50 years before she donated it to the city of Sarasota. Yeah, it and it's good. the world's largest epiphyte garden, which is? Plants that grow on trees. Uh, they, they don't have the roots that need to be in potting soil or, or water. They just get their nutrition from rotting leaf material and um, you know, bird droppings, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, and bromeliads and pineapple are in that family, as is Spanish moss that you see growing on oak trees in the and south. Orchids, yeah, and absolutely. many types of ferns. Right. So it, it was a fantastic, really fantastic uh, several hours there going through. Plus, they had an Andy Warhol exhibit in the uh, main house. Where we learned that he was a huge environmentalist and basically was more. Um, not not just uh, relegated to doing Campbell soup cans, which I was famous for, but he loved flowers and, and plants. Yeah, so that was quite, and as you'll see in the picture uh, up on the side here, one of the displays they had has his land is truly the art. Yes, and uh, as, as you'll see as we're speaking here, little pictures of uh, some of the epiphytes that we took uh, as we went through the gardens. Yeah, and, and we're, we would have done it other, uh, another way more descriptively with, with pic letting the pictures do the talking, but for some odd reason, since we left so early in the day, uh, we forgot to put the batteries in the, in the camera. Yep, so yeah. we had a nice camera with us. just. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult to use the uh, the medium that you're seeing us on without having a battery. Right. So Brad used the iPhone or the equivalent in its uh, what is it? The Samsung. Samsung um, Asteroid or what is it called? <laughs> what is their system? I forget. Galaxy. Galaxy. I have a Galaxy. Yeah. So um, you know, so we're doing it a little different, but it will be something you'll enjoy. It's very very beautiful, and it's often passed by. But I tell you what, the, it was pretty full yesterday. Yes, it was. Well worth the visit if you're going through uh, the 275 or the I-75 corridor to take a couple hours and just explore this wonderfully maintained and beautiful land. Mm -hmm. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. And you're helping keep that alive and, and well. And they have a lot of volunteers to maintain the grounds and also to give the tours. Mm -hmm. um, but they could always use more and the state of Florida being what the state of Florida is they don't they don't help these private things out so yeah, we have to have uh, the help so if you if you do go put a five dollar bill in their donation box it's well worth it yeah ten times over yeah so but anyway we did that and we had, the weather was great we didn't go, get to go to California because of my uh, last week's surgery from the uh, just over the mid collarbone area with uh, taking out the the cancerous tumor and it's I get my stitches taking out this uh, uh, Friday and it was uncomfortable so I, I know that we like to to visit the the LA area and then climb up hills and everything but it wouldn't have been very yeah, comfortable worked that well and plus it was a rainy week in California yes yeah. as you guys know who live there so uh, so we're gonna go again probably as we did last year when we had our officiating ceremony of our wedding in the, the mid to end of April. And it'll be nice. It'll, by then it'll be broiling hot here and still comfortable there, so we'll enjoy that. Yeah. No. But anyway, that's that's the update from Life Under the Palms. Um, when we, we drove, we did the whole thing in two full days. Yes, full pack days. And got home a little before 12. Um, Ate some really good food and some nice restaurants in Pinellas County, which is the 
Clearwater, St. Petersburg, and the suburban areas. There never, no chains. But uh, the southern fresh restaurant that we ate in mm. was all uh, skillet fried chicken, old fashioned, marinated. And to order. Pretty tasty. You have to wait about half an hour to get your dinner mm. because they cook your chicken and fry it to order. Oh, not it's a fantastic. Bit, yeah, not too heavily breaded, not a bit of grease on it, but just really, really tasty. Yeah. And then last night we went to a seafood restaurant and uh, also very good. A little more, little more expensive, but then we had a little more upscale dining. Yeah, yeah, and, that's nice. But one thing that we knew and we noticed everywhere was the people were a lot more outgoing and they were happy to see you at the restaurant. And it's just fun when people interact on a better level. Yeah, enjoy that. When we get back to our cranky area here, we don't expect it as much. There's a few, but we know what to expect. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, and hope you have a wonderful spring, because it is spring now, and uh, all that, all your bulbs come up and bring color and life to your garden. Mm -hmm. And maybe you're not living life under the palm, but you're having a wonderful reawakening or rebirth of, of life under your own trees. And enjoy them. Enjoy your summer. Yeah. Thank you for visiting with us. Press that share, that thumbs up, the like for us. We really appreciate that as well. And then until our next video or our next recipe for the spice of life, mm -hmm. we bid you a wonderful day. Da, 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 da. Be good Mahalo. to yourself. It's the best friend you have is you. Bye. Bye-bye.